what will we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> Good evening. In a very short while, you'll be welcomed into the world of the Late Late Show with me, Craig Ferguson. You probably don't recognize me right now because there's a hand across my mouth. Don't worry, it's my hand. However, what we'll learn on the show tonight is what I'm hiding under here. But I'll give you some clues. It's dirty. <laughs> it's hairy. And it smells delicious. Yeah. Dirty, hairy, smells delicious. Remind you of anyone? Do you know what I think is quite worrying? Even although as I sit here talking to you, both my hands, both my hands, smell like canned ham. <laughs> the mystery is, I haven't eaten canned ham <laughs> in many years. So there's only one or two things that's happened. Either I smell like canned ham quite naturally, or as I sleep, my hands go foraging. <laughs> foraging to a place where ham is king. <laughs> That's right, I said, ham is king. All right, all right. So anyway, join us after the commercials for the show, and you'll see what is behind my hand. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. enough. And I know you're excited. So am I. I know I'm excited too. Oh my God, what's that? Honey, is there something wrong with the TV? What's that mark on the TV? There's nothing wrong with your TV, except something sexy happened. <laughs> That's right. It's a great day for America. I've grown a mustache. <laughs> yes. It's only a week old. It's a weak mustache, let's be honest. <laughs> I have already named him, though. I shall call him Rudy. <laughs> it is the forbidden mustache. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because it's Vegas week on the show, and I wanted to look like a second-rate magician. Hurrah! <laughs> Pay no attention to the chicken in my trousers. <laughs> Where did that come from? Where did you come from, Clucky? <laughs> That's right. My moustache is called Rudy, and my invisible chicken is called Clucky. <laughs> You know, I'm seeing it for the first time on the monitor in the studio. I think I look a bit like a sleazy actor. <laughs> what am I saying? I am a sleazy actor. <laughs> I kind of like it. I know you're going to hate it, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> anyway, it's Vegas week, and all the great Vegas entertainers have uh, moustaches. Robert Goulet had a moustache. Sammy Davis Jr., moustache. Cher, moustache. <laughs> It's been moved up now. It's a way around it. In the early days. Hey, I got a moustache, babe. That's what they originally... 
Anyway, I had a chance to grow this magnificent thing. Because we we've been in reruns for two weeks. CBS doesn't like me telling you that, uh, you know, that in advance, because they think you won't watch the reruns. But this is a new show. Unless, of course, this is a rerun in the future. <laughs> in which, weren't the Olympics great, everybody? <laughs> yes, I enjoyed them. They were on NBC. Do you remember NBC? <laughs> Good times. Two weeks, though, we've been away. Two weeks? It's a long time. I might have forgotten how to do this. Some say I never knew how to do it. Then there's doing the show. Ah, hey! Hosting this show is like riding a bicycle, though. You never forget how. And it gives you a sore ass. make any sense. Do you, know why, do you know why I say these rude things? My moustache. Rudy, he's disgusting. He's taking control of my mouth. That's right. I love... <laughs> I love to say dirty things. I love to say dirty things like bottom. I'm getting on with the show. I'm just excited about my moustache. And, yes. Also... Other little bit here as well. <laughs> Moustache and added bonus kind of... God, I look ridiculous, don't I? <laughs> I don't care. I want a moustache. I wanted a moustache. I've always wanted a moustache. I wear a moustache in sketches. What? That's you, Greg? Yes, it's me! <laughs> I thought I want a moustache for my very own, gosh darn it. All right, it, it was a big weekend for Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. She had her babies, Knox and Vivienne. Congratulations to them. Brad said he couldn't wait to get his hands on the twins. And then he'll see the babies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great joke. I love that joke because it's about boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that new iPhone? It's fantastic. People are going nuts for it. Apple said they sold one million in the first three days. At this rate, they'll reach 10 million right around the time it starts working. And I think that'll be awesome. <laughs> That's a <laughs> joke. I know. <laughs> Did I say that the moustache also cusses? <laughs> I know. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> what can you do? The moustache is out of its mind. Yeah. You'll never take me alive, copper. <laughs> anyway, it's great, it's great to be back, is what I'm saying. I'm very excited to be back. Well, why, why? Well, it's Vegas week. Oh, Vegas week, yeah. Do we have a graphic for Vegas week? Come on. Yeah! Mm. We're having Vegas week because Vegas is back and it's sexier than ever. Remember when Vegas went all family for a while, you know? Not family as in, hey, you hey, wise guy. No, that, no, family as in, try the water slide, kids. <laughs> or you can eat buffet, great. <laughs> but that didn't make any money, so sexy Vegas is back. Stay in your room, kids. Mama's dancing topless in the crap stable. Get out of here. Anyway, we are pulling out all the stops for Vegas week. Uh, we got on the show, what says Vegas sizzle better than Debbie Reynolds, who's on the show tonight, yeah? <laughs> Chris Isaac is on the show tonight, he's uh, Mr. Vegas. On Wednesday, on Wednesday this week, we have Mr. Las Vegas himself, Sir Ben Kingsley. <laughs> says Las Vegas like the guy who played Gandhi. <laughs> I'm doubling down. <laughs> Where's my whiskey, bitch? Uh... <laughs> also, this may seem like a coincidence, and perhaps it is, but Vegas week is happening this week. Next week, I am actually playing for a week in Las Vegas. What are the odds of that? <laughs> Can we have a graphic for my shows in Las Vegas? Book early to avoid disappointment. 
I'll have the moustache there as well. And this little thing. Although I might have a waxed into a line by then. That's classy. Remember that guy that was going out with Britney Spears, that guy? When she was like all crazy and everything and uh, she was going out with that paparazzi guy with a lie. <laughs> I just want the best for her. Uh, 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 this? Yeah, no, it's, I just, I just have this. I'm one of those guys now. Look at this. Oh, yeah. By the way, the shows I'm doing in Vegas, it's going to be stand-up comedy. I'm not stripping. All right, for 20 bucks, I'll give you a lap dance. With this moustache and this other bit. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Vegas Week. <laughs> Do you know when you've got a little moustache like this, you people who have moustaches, you'll know this, when you, <laughs> proper moustaches, when you grow a little bit of facial hair like this, you feel as you go like this a lot. <laughs> Pay no attention to the things around. Ignore my moustache. And look only into my eyes. Don't look at my moustache. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure, but one thing I am sure about, don't email me about this. Do not email me and say, Craig, I don't like moustache, or Craig, I like moustache. Don't care! <laughs> Actually, let me know. <laughs> but if you don't like it, be nice. Anyway, Vegas week. I'm very excited. I, I'm actually, I can't wait to go to Sin City because uh, all my vacation, the two weeks I was off, I was in Boston, I was in Philadelphia, I was in all the kind of good places in America. And I'm kind of looking forward to getting into the, you know, going to the crap place. <laughs> it's, not, it's not as crap, but you know, they're like Boston and Philly and stuff like that, all the, they're a lot full of unstyle, you know, they're upstanding people, very, you know, respectable and stuff. It makes me nervous being around all that. I feel like... I feel like Michael Vick in a dog pound. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Was it matter too soon? I don't know. I write and I need one of the best jokes I ever heard. <laughs> That's right. Dogs give me the thumbs up. Even though they don't have thumbs, they enjoy my work. To be honest, though, I don't know if, if, if Vegas Week can top what I did on uh, July 4th. Because uh, I hosted the Boston Pops fireworks show at the Esplanade in Boston. It is the easiest job in show business. All you have to do is stand there and go, America's great, here's fireworks. And then they do it. <laughs> and they do fireworks right in Boston. At the end of the 1812 Overture, the huge cannons come in time with the music and they, poof, they let me test fire one of them. The poof. I had to pull the long string to make it go off. It's like a very dangerous game of pull my finger. <laughs> Is there a safe game of pull my finger? But these cannons are not only used for the, the 4th of July fireworks. They're, they're, you know, or they are. They are. They are actually only used. They're not used for anything else. It's not like there's anything else going on. It's just they have these old cannons and they use them once a year. They're covered in grease. They go off annually. <laughs> Remind you of anyone? <laughs> it was a big thrill for me. It was a big thrill for me to be there on July the 4th. Because, you know what I did? I gave the Independence Day oration at Faneuil Hall in Boston. If you've never been in that building, it's a very historic building. It's where the people drink the beer and listen to speeches and eat uh, what they call wicked good chowder. <laughs> By the way, if you think regular vomit is disgusting, same page. I do, you do too. It is nothing, nothing compared to chowder vomit. I'm, I'm, what? I'm just saying it is. It's, chowder vomit 
it, it actually looks like chowder. <laughs> anyway, I'm in this hall and I'm given this, uh, it's a huge honor to make this speech. You know, the previous speakers at Faryal Hall have been like, John Quincy Adams gave this speech, President Kennedy, that Oliver Wendell Holmes, the 19th century poet, did it. He was very eloquent, Oliver Wendell Holmes. He said, love is the master key that opens the gates of happiness. <laughs> Then again, he also said, Martha Washington, ah, yeah, break me off a piece of that. <laughs> he didn't. He might have. He might have said that. Yeah, he said it all right. Sure he did. Please, Rudy, not now. Yeah. Come on, let's say dirty, sexy stuff. I'm like anyone else who grows facial hair, I'm just trying to be more interesting. <laughs> I've said too much. <laughs> anyway, I'm at Faneuil Hall and I was there with uh, uh, my friend, uh, General uh, George Casey. He's my friend. He's the, the, he, the chief of staff of the army, highest ranking uh, army officer in the army. Right, the boss of the army is what I'm saying. <laughs> And there's a lot of military people there in the 4th of July. And I'm thinking, well, I'm, you know, I'm from Hollywood. I'm growing a moustache. I'll be important here. Nobody cares. <laughs> They're all looking around with, you know, Casey's there. They're like, oh, look, Casey. I, I, said, I said to him, I said, General, I do not like hanging around with you here with all these military people. It's like going to Disneyland with Mickey Mouse. <laughs> It's true, these people, the bravest people our country has to offer, and they see Casey and they're like kids at a Hannah Montana concert. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God! Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God! I should have worn my good uniform. Oh, I can't believe it, General Casey! General Casey! <laughs> we should uh, probably take a break then. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back to the facial hair extravaganza. <laughs> I know. Look, it's an experiment. Why not? You should see what I'm doing under my clothes. I've got a shaved version of Washington crossing the Delaware. Here. But that's for another time. Do we even have time for an email? Yes, there's time for an email, Craig. Let's roll the dice down on the strip. Then drink too much and get a hooker with a whip. Vegas, baby. Yeah, there you go. Vegas week. All right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, all right, here we go. This is from Amanda in Tyler, in Texas. <laughs> I can't be mucking around. I spent too much time talking about my moustache tonight. Uh, Amanda, I was going to say Tyler, but that's the town. Amanda says, isn't that funny? <laughs> Amanda says, uh, Dear Craig, my seven-week-old son is usually still awake while I'm trying to watch your show. Could you please sing, sing him a lullaby so he will go to sleep? Wake the baby! My first guest tonight is a singer. You can see him in San Diego on July the 16th and in Saratoga, California on July the 18th, the 19th, and the 20th. Please welcome the adorable Chris Isaac, everybody. Welcome. 
Welcome, Chris. Nice to see you. Good to be here. It's quite a mustache you got there, buddy. Thanks. You know what? Just, just having the mustache makes me feel erudite. And I don't even know what that means. Yeah. But... I don't do the big words, sir, but that's a fine mustache. I didn't get... know you had a mustache. In fact, I think I saw you earlier today and you didn't have a mustache then. I usually use it in the afternoon. All right, okay. It's, a, it's an evening wear. Do you, do, you, do you play Vegas? It's Vegas week. Do you, do you wear your mustache when you work there? You know, I've, I've, I have played Vegas a lot. Yeah. And I love playing Vegas. Um, and I have friends in Vegas. I'm friends with Wayne Newton. And if you're going to have a friend in Las Vegas, you should have Wayne Newton as a I've, friend. Yeah, he's, he's, he's Mr. Las Vegas. Will you yeah. take the damn mustache off? It's really creeping me out. <laughs> You look like that Uncle Sam once. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Is there, there's actually some way to take it off. Yeah, yeah. give it to me. I'll show you. Is uh, it... Ready? Yeah. But... Hey, oh, geez. Oh. How's my lip look? It looks good. It's just, that's how I. Yeah. That's how I. Kind of like a bikini wax, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> that's right. Yeah. You look better without the mustache. Thank you. No, no, no it's good. I think I'll shave mine off. If I shave off but mine... But you know, when I had the mustache, yeah. even just for a second, when I wore it, I felt like I could solve a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? That's how I feel. It's, it, it changes your impression of who you are. All yeah. of a sudden, I put it on and I went, there's something wrong with this. Yeah. <laughs> he knows me. That's true. You are. You kind of like... Anyway. Will you tell me about Wayne Newton? Wayne Newton... It, I met Wayne Newton. I did a bunch of stuff with the USO. Right. Okay, so... He's the head of the USO, right? Bob Hope's gone. Wayne Newton is head of the USO. Right. And I had no idea what to expect, but Wayne Newton is... I really like the guy because he's... Nice, isn't he? yeah. He's exactly what you think he is and more because Wayne Newton's a big guy. And when USO things, you know, I wear a glittering costume. <laughs> and, you, you know... Well, you know, in show business, you've got to have a lot of talent or a glittering, glittering costume. costume yeah. Now, I have a glittering costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so, I, we're out doing the USO stuff, and I'm always standing. I always have Wayne right in front of me. And I, it's a good idea, because you're in a glittering costume, you're an easy target. Mm -hmm. But Wayne is a big guy. And he's, and he's so, and this is no joke, he's so gung-ho about America that... He would do this like at the end of the evening, he would talk to the soldiers and you'd just go, you never met a more patriotic guy. So then to see him in Vegas it was kind of a different Wayne Newton. He was kind yeah. of a... <laughs> well, that's the USO, you know, like he's this very gung-ho guy, but then you didn't see him in Vegas, he's with his family. Yeah. And it kind of more... I've been to his house. You've been to his house? That's kind of Did weird. Did you feed the penguins? Yeah, he's got penguins. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Yeah, it's one of those weird moments in my life that I go, I, am I really, is this really happening? I know. It's like, Chris, are you done with your sandwich? Because I'm going to go feed the penguins now. Yeah. Let's, let's go feed the penguins. And I'm like, sure, Wayne. Like, that happens every day. Yeah. I mean, what are they, what, is Perina penguin chow or something? What was he? Uh, no, I, it's a special diet of fish. That and little cigarettes he gives them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, they, and they wear those little plaid uh, vests and, and sing little songs and yeah. bang their cymbals together. It's adorable. You know, I, I can't tell a story. That this is, it didn't happen, so I guess he that can't get... That doesn't matter. He can't... Well, no, it, it started to happen, but he didn't get... In, he won't get in trouble because it never came to fruition. Right. But we were over on a USO tour... And at the end, we play our songs and stuff. And at the end, all the soldiers, there's a lot of, like, signing pictures and meeting mm -hmm. people. So that's great. So we're standing there, and everybody's talking. And, and these soldiers come over, and one of them's got his hands like this. And he goes, hey, you want to see a monkey? And I'm thinking, oh, man. <laughs> I get, no, this, I, you know, exactly. I'm going, Did you this, get a number is I'm what I'm going, thinking? Did you get a number? I'm going, this is not going to be a good thing. This is going to be like, you know, they're going to go, hey, Hollywood, and they'll throw something in my face or something like mm -hmm. that. And I, I go... Probably something like this? Yes, uh, yes, you know, like, hey. And I go, so I, I just said, sure, I, you know, I, I want to see your monkey. And I'm thinking, okay, here it comes. And he opens his hands like this, and two tiny little hands come out, and a little head comes out and looks around. Tom Cruise! And I... <laughs> no? <laughs> uh, yeah. 
be great if it was, though, it was, wouldn't it? it? Was Tom, yeah, it was. That's a better ending. It was Tom Cruise. <laughs> he goes, yeah, I mean, it's a new movie of mine. I'm here. I am. <laughs> it's a little. I didn't know that monkeys. There actually, uh, there's a living monkey. I mean, that must be. It, it's big enough. It was in his hands. Completely are you sure hidden. about this? I think monkeys are you, pretty big. Next time you've got some, kind, you, you have animal people that know about animals on the show, don't you? Well, sometimes. Ask, well, when you have one, say Chris Isaac told this story. Is it true? It's true. This little monkey comes out of his hands. Wayne comes over and sees it, and he goes, "I want to buy that monkey." <laughs> And he's, and he's got he the goes, kind of dough that go, he like, could yeah, do. It. You know, he goes, I could give that monkey a life that you could never give him. <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, he wanted, but it, he, it ended up for some kind of international law and, and being good to animals that Wayne did not get the monkey, but he does have Tom Cruise living now. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Now, I, I, I'm just amazed. At, now, can you see where this, uh, this monkey was? That's, or That thing is moving. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's actually a tiny little monkey. Why don't you, why don't you put both of them on? Put a moustache. Yeah. Top. I and don't I, know if you can wear another man's moustache once he's been wearing it. You wore this moustache. You're like, right. It's, it's like me good wearing your underpants or something. <laughs> and we know how that turned out. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should try that later. Hmm. That's kind of awkward, isn't it? Hey, uh, will you? Are you, you going to play some uh, music for us tonight? Yes, I will. What are you going to do? It's, it's, uh, it's a song we've been doing live. People seem to like it, and it's something we put on our new record, uh, uh, I'll Go Crazy. All right. Well, uh, we, we'll take a break, and uh, then Debbie Reynolds will be on, and then oh, we'll take Debbie another Reynolds. Oh, yeah, she's been to Vegas. I she, love she, Debbie she, Reynolds. She, she probably collects little monkeys. Is she going to sing? Is Debbie going to sing? She, I don't know. Is she going to sing? She, no, no, no. She no. should sing. She, you know, that, she's she too hammered. She can't sing to me. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back with uh, Debbie Reynolds. everybody I'm trying new stuff I grew a mustache and I'm behaving like a jackass <laughs> people seem to love it <laughs> it's Vegas week everybody and my next guest is a Las Vegas icon you can see her at the Air, the El Portal theater July the 16th to the 20th is that in Vegas no that's in Hollywood oh you can see her there too <laughs> She's all over Vegas, Hollywood, your area. I'm not saying she's all over your area. Although, given half the chance. I've heard stories, is what I'm saying. Anyway, please welcome the lovely Debbie Reynolds, everybody. Well, with my moustache, what do yes, you think? Yes, you look very Europeanish. I am Europeanish. Oh, I forgot. That's but... not. I grew a moustache. It's on my left tip. Hey, now. <laughs> do I look Europeanish? Yeah, you look. Actually, you look. I don't like knowing it's there, Debbie. <laughs> Why? You want to feel a little bit? No. <laughs> I just a lot to feel. Never well, mind. Well, you know, I get started there. I'm going to be there all night. I'd rather. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I've had three bad marriages. I'm late. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. He's such a young one, isn't he? Pretty. No, no, no. I'm terribly old. The moustache makes me look no. younger. 
Oh, no, well, it looks darling. It looks very really? sophisticated, like I say, very European. -ish. Thank you very much indeed. Yes. And I'm very happy to have you here at, uh, on the first night of Vegas week because you are, of course... Las uh, Vegas. That's Las my Vegas. hometown. Yeah. Did you have a casino there at one point? I did. <laughs> then I married another creep and... Uh, <laughs> I have a very bad ha habit about that, bad husbands. So I did have a, ca a casino for seven years there, a little hotel. Was it, what was it, the desert something? It, well, it was on Desert Inn Road, and I, I've been to Vegas. I, I, I was in that, I think. Yeah, that well, place. now it's something else, and I'm not going to plug it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> But I've been to Vegas since 62. I went first to Vegas. I worked the Riviera, the Desert Inn, you know. These were all my friends in and and Did you know when it was all the mobsters and the, uh, you yeah. know... Uh, did you ever whack somebody care. and bury them in the desert, Debbie? Did you ever do that? <laughs> no, but a lot of people disappeared and never came back. Really? Is that true? Did that really happen? Yeah, I think they're out there. Just the bones, I mean. No. <laughs> well, if you did something wrong, you just disappeared. That's true. No, if you do something wrong, 12.30 on CBS. That's right. <laughs> what happened? Uh, <laughs> I watch you every night. You are so funny, so talented. God just gave you a great talent. You are oh, truly you the funniest much. guy I've watched. I, oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now, are you still... What are you doing? Are you still singing and dancing in the act? Is yes, that yes, I have. I, I, I keep everything in my boobs. Because, right. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, opening my uh, new motion picture museum uh, is in Bell Island, which is Tennessee. Dolly Parton, Pigeon Poo, uh, Pigeon Poo. Pigeon Poo. <laughs> Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Right. And you're, a, opening a, you're opening a museum in Tennessee. I am. Well, see, I. That what could be more Vegas than that? <laughs> Hollywood, but in Hollywood, it's very hard to get things done. Yes, I know. About preservation. It's I mean, I don't mean women. I mean, you know. No, no, no. that's a little easier. Oh, but the, for yeah, you. No, no. Well, you know. Uh, the El Portel, that's where I'm working now. It's just a little theater in the valley. Yeah. I wanted to work it because I've lived here in the valley for such a long time. And I miss vaudeville. Vaudeville is... See, Vegas, we used to work 28 weeks straight. Right. Desert Inn, Riviera, and Sammy Davis, Frank Sinatra. All the greats were yeah. in Vegas. And Liberace, and I used to know them all. Liberace? I've never heard them called Liberace before. <laughs> Well, that's what it is. Well, I thought it was Liberace. I didn't know it was Liberace. Oh, Liber? No, I call him Lee. Lee. Well, he was Lee Liberace, wasn't he? Well, you know how he talked like that. Yeah, I did about it. Yeah. <laughs> now, we used to stay up very late. Of course, Vegas is. Now, you're getting it's ready to go. To Vegas, yes. Now, next, you stay up really late there. Me? Nah. Well, yes, you have to stay up late. That's the fun of it. That's, that's when the, all the town gets going. I don't want to be there when they get going. I want to be gone by the time they get going. <laughs> Now, you wear your mustache, you'll, you'll have a lot of fun. No, I don't know. I think, because all the way the, the kids party now with the, you know, the Paris Hiltons and all, I can't be part of all that. Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, to be a part of Paris Hilton just takes one. Hey, no, no, no. Be nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> she got where she got on her own two knees. And now stop! Hotel. And then I'm you're going opening to the a museum in Tennessee. Yeah. And what's, what's this and other one? And Carrie, my daughter, she loves you. I Carrie love Carrie. loves yeah, you. I love Carrie. And uh, she's going to be uh, in San Jose doing her play, Wishful Drinking. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to plug? Do, do you have a um, Stairmaster or anything I'm coming out? Uh, no, I'm going to the Drury Lane in Chicago very shortly. I just keep working all the time because, you know, I'll drop dead any minute, so I have to keep working. <laughs> well, we better take a break then. Debbie Reynolds, everybody, we'll be right back. The song from the wonderful Chris Reynolds. You are a dude. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. It's me. <laughs> probably don't recognize me. <laughs> I don't recognize me. <laughs> now here to perform I'll Go Crazy, please welcome back to the stage the wonderful Chris Isaac, everybody. Chris Isaac. If you leave 
I'm worried about that cat. <laughs> well, what did we learn on the show tonight? We learned from, uh, we learned it's Vegas week. Uh, we learned that you must never wear another man's moustache. <laughs> we learned that Debbie Reynolds has a moustache somewhere on her. And during a commercial break, I learned from someone in the audience <laughs> what this little thing here is called. <laughs> and I'll tell you what I learned. I learned I was a fool not to grow a moustache to an hour. <laughs> Men, if you're at home thinking, should I, shouldn't I, you should. <laughs> and immediately. Especially one of these. Well, I think that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>